Jeez, look at this guy. That is more than a thousand yard stare. That's like a hundred thousand yard stare. I mean, oh, his eyes are even changing. This is, this guy's seen some stuff. He has seen some stuff. War is hell. Hell let loose. It's a new year and a new addiction. We are back with Hell Let Loose. This time, we're gonna be trying the offensive game mode. I've been playing the warfare mode a lot, but offensive is much more like breakthrough in Battlefield where you start and you're just pushing. So they can't take our points back. We're just trying to capture all of their points. And I took a little bit of a break on the holidays, but I have had an absolute blast playing Hell Let Loose, even though it's, like I said in my last video, which did awesome, by the way, thank you so much for the support, is not my typical type of game or style of game, and I've just found it really, really engaging and really immersive. And that is what is bringing me back again and again. And we're gonna try to move around the right side here and push and flank. Majority of my team's moving straight up the middle like a spear, and they are just, well, they kind of spread out a little bit, but they are just pushing in hard. We're gonna see if we can watch this right flank and help our team push in. And that is what is so engaging about this game, is really the freedom to kind of tackle objectives however you'd like, especially if you stick with your squad and you're kind of given orders by your commander. It really reminds me of Battlefield 2 back in the commander days, where you had a really in-sync squad that was actually following orders, and it just feels really, really awesome to work together as a team. Obviously, I'm not doing the best job of that here, as I'm just kind of lone wolfing. Woo! But those rounds where you can just work together with your squad, really coordinate on your different roles. I hit him. I don't know if I killed him, but I hit him. It's just awesome. Okay, looks like we're taking the approach. I'm just gonna sneak up here, little sneakerton sneak sneak. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he didn't see me. See? This right flank. I got it locked down. And we're also trying a bit differently with the assault class. I have the, uh, I never know how to say this rifle. The Gateway Hair, Gateway Hair, Gateway Hair, 43, classic, classic World War II era rifle, and it was actually my favorite in Call of Duty 2, the World War II one, one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. Alright, let's keep moving around the- Ugh! Ouch. Okay, well we were taking it and now we're losing it, so that's what happens when I die. That's what happens when I die, we get pushed back really severely. <laughs> Obviously, it was all me on the right side that wasn't contributing at all. And I had a really fun time making the last video, so it and the reception to it was awesome. It was it was actually really incredible, like I said. And so I want to continue to make more. Hell Let Loose is a super fun game. This is gonna be a very chill video of just kind of me with some live commentary. Run, 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 run. And uh, if you enjoy it, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and if not, let me know why not. Also, I should mention if you're interested in picking up Hell Let Loose, it is still on sale at 2game.com. You can follow the link. Take out that guy. He's wearing white, not the... Okay. Not the best camouflage. But yes, 2game.com. Follow the link in my description and use coupon code PUNGLES for an additional 5% off. It is still on sale. It's not quite as steep a sale as it was in their winter sale. But still a good sale for the sales, the sales, sales. Okay, we do not have a commander that is definitely preventing... Oh, that was cool. The explosions and the effects in this game are really, really awesome. I love the smoke effects. Yeah, look at that. Oof. Oof. Just looks good. Just looks good, man. Let's try this. Let's try to get in this burned out little house and crawl upwards. <laughs> okay. Okay, their artillery is on point. They're, they're on point. They got us... Uh, Zeroed in pretty well. Looks like this little ditch leads all the way up the right hand side and oh <laughs> I think that uh that headshot ping may be as satisfying as Battlefield 1's, maybe. Battlefield 1 is pretty hard to beat with that headshot ping, but it's really satisfying in this and just getting kills in general is really, really satisfying in this. Probably because of the more difficult learning curve. And honestly, this is not a game where aim helps a whole lot or you know, quick reflexes. It is like 95% positioning and movement and the actual ability to aim and shoot is a little little tiny part of your success. Anyone that's played a lot of this game probably watches this video or my last video and just cringes at what I'm doing but uh, you know I'm just jumping in and having fun and I'm having a ton of fun learning the different roles. Uh, I just played a round previously where I was a medic and I really stuck with my squad and communicated a lot. I'm not doing it very much here. Oh! He was just standing there. I couldn't believe I didn't hit him. Not doing the best job communicating with my squad this time, but that last round playing as medic and sticking with the squad and hitting up different objectives, that's where it really, you know, clicked for me of how different this game can be and how immersive and fun and engaging it actually can be. Definitely the best running simulator I've ever played. Let's crawl up here slowly. My team is taking it now. Oh yeah, there's a machine gunner right over that little hill. He's getting shot at though, luckily. Drop. 
dropped you. Sweet, we took it. Let's push forward. Let's get a little more aggressive as we took it and move. Okay, drop him. Looks like we have to take the yellow house next. And there's a lot of movement down there, so we're going to try to clear this out. Clear a little path for our squad here on the right side, or our team. Oh my... What What the hell was that? Oh. <laughs> Panzerfaust or rocket launcher or whatever right next to my head. <laughs> and block. So yes, we have to now push... We have, I think it's 30 minutes or maybe 35 minutes per section. So they basically just have to defend. They can't take the point we just took back. And we just continue to push forward and see if we can reach the end. If the timer runs out, then we lose. And this is Stalingrad. Stalingrad. I think I've played, I don't know. I actually, I have no idea how many maps there are. I played one that was at night in a heavy, heavy thick forest. And that was terrifying, uh, but really, really immersive and an awesome experience. Um, so far, I've enjoyed the maps a lot. Uh, I'm sure if I played a whole lot that I would get sick of some of them or realize some are not as fun as others, but being so new, I'm just really enjoying all of them. The different engagements you can take, like this map, for example, is very urban, even though, even though you know, these houses have seen better days. And I played one uh, against where I was playing as the Soviets, and it was just a wide open winter landscape. So there was very little cover, and you had to be a lot smarter in how you moved around the map. Oh, there's a machine gunner. Okay, I hit him once. Okay, so, uh, yeah, he's getting, yeah, he's getting wrecked. He's getting lit up. And there are just so many places to hide in this rubble. Oh! Oh, 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 that's artillery. There, you got us zeroed in again. Free and bandage and see if we can move. Oh, well, sorry, Flex. That's, that's not a safe way to go. Let's nade it up. Oh, but dang! I got a comment in my last video that I was just talking the entire time, and so I'm just gonna be silent for a minute. So let's just sit back, listen, and absorb some of the atmosphere of hell that loose as we hear the artillery, the bullets flying in. I'm gonna stop talking now. Yeah, they did an excellent job with the audio design of this game, and uh, the visuals, I'm, I'm continuously impressed, especially when you have things like a bombing run or a strafing run go by, it can be really, really impressive visually. But yes, the audio has these bullets just kind of rip overhead and explosions, you can hear distant shots going off, really, really well done. And even though I don't have a ton of playtime, I mean, in comparison to other players, I think I'm at about 13 or 14 hours now, it is still one of the most immersive World War II games I've ever played. So if you're looking for an extremely immersive experience, you really can't go wrong with this game. You do, if you're if you're more used to traditional, you're not used to these slower paced shooters, you'll kind of have to change your mindset and how you move around. I'm not doing the best job at that, but you do kind of, you do kind of have to change how you approach engagements to really excel in the firefights, and it's extremely critical. I'm, not, I'm doing a horrible job of it here. But sticking and communicating with your squad, I found, is, is what really makes the difference in the enjoyment of the game and also your success as a team and a player. And I've had some really frustrating deaths, like you run all the way up and then you just get hit by an artillery, but there's something about this game that just keeps me wanting to respawn and try again and try again. And it's kind of like, it's <laughs> definitely less punishing, but it's kind of like Tarkov in that way, where it's like, I want to take what I learned and what I did wrong and try to do better this next time. And it doesn't always work. I don't always apply everything, and usually I don't, but it's a very addicting gameplay loop when... Oh! And they're holding this epically strategic point called Yellow House. Super, super... What is happening? All right, let's see how we do up here. I'm going to get shot in the head almost instantly. Holding it pretty well. Here's the headshot. Three, two, one... Okay, okay. We're doing better than... Okay, we're switching up a little further north because those are... We're going to swing north. The outposts at that gate are not working out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just gets deleted right in front of me. Okay, get the smokes. 
Let's throw some smokes. Man, those take so long to prep. Unscrew the no, no rush. You're not in a you know you're not in a battle or anything like that. Take your sweet time. Okay, we got some smoke cover. We're gonna swing around here on the left flank and tactically assault this sniper position. Oh, I see him. He's up there. There he is. I don't know if I got him, but at least I found his position. Definitely a sneaky little spot. Ooh, here we go. Let's try this. Okay, we're gonna get up in this little spot and lay down and hide in this rubble like a little rat. I think I should have a pretty good angle here. Oh, yeah. Oh, stutter. Okay, I got him. Missed him. Okay, let's reload. There's a lot moving over there. Woohoohoo! Nice little headshot there. Nice little dink there. Dropped another one there. Hopefully this allows my team to push up this right flank so we can move on to the house. Yeah, they gotta get out of a garrison or something here, because this is... crazy. Did I get him? I don't know if I got him. Let's reload. Oh my, there's so many I can't shoot fast enough. Pick your shots. Pick your shots. There are so many. They're still being revived. Reload. Come on, come on. Oh, that was an excellent artillery strike. Another one. One crawling. There you go. Team's pushing up. This is all me. Look at them moving up. That was all me right there. Oh. We're risking it. We're risking standing up here. Oh my gosh. Take your time. Oh, yep, that's definitely a garrison or something. There they go. <laughs> oh, yep. Pick them off. Pick them off. Out of ammo. Okay. Some bad shooting there. Our team's pushing up, though. Clearing the way. Clearing the way with the weird 43. This felt good. This is a good flank. This felt good. And we took the yellow house. I like to think I played a role there. I wasn't really even near the point, but I... <laughs> I still played a role. A couple down the road. Oh my goodness. We are doing work. Movement and positioning. So critical to this game, and I am thoroughly enjoying my time with it. I am truly addicted to Hell Let Loose right now. I'm going to dig in further, get more familiar with a lot of the gameplay systems, try different roles, work with my squad, and just have an overall great time. We're going to call it right here because the timer reset, and I don't want this video to be super long because this was just a very casual live you know, commentary with gameplay. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy New Year's. Have a great 2023. And we got a lot of fun stuff coming for the channel this next year. I have a lot of good videos planned. And I don't know. I'm super excited. Super excited. So thanks for watching. Until next time.